So the question is, should you be able to mix your own beats? What's going on, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So I've just been talking to a manager of an artist that I'm working with. And we're just talking about how this coronavirus thing, that, like it's a crazy situation that we're going through right now. Seems that artists have got time now to work on stuff and obviously people like me who make people like yourselves making beats mixing and mastering just creating it's giving us the opportunity to really get some stuff done so yeah it's, it's weird it's crazy how it's worked out um i've got some beats to mix today songs to mix and singles coming out next week one i mentioned in my video from before if you haven't seen that video check that one out so first of all shout out my newest subscriber jav 4x and shout out my favorite comment this week coming from vc beats appreciate the comment jab appreciate you subscribing i hope you hit that notification bell as well so you get notified anytime i put up a new video i need to mix this beat but before i do that to get something to eat some breakfast probably some cereal some frosty flakes or something like that I got hit up by a beat maker on Instagram and he wanted me to mix his beats. But he also said he didn't think it was a thing where a beat maker could send their music out or their beats out to another producer beat maker to mix their stuff. And he's, he, he kind of said that he felt like he was letting down the side by not being able to do, mix his own stuff. So the question is, should you be able to mix your own beats? And my answer to that is, do what works for you. If you like mixing your beats and you like doing everything, mixing, producing, recording, then do that. If you can mix your own beats, that's a bonus. But if you can't, it's not the end of the world. It just means you're stronger in, in doing other things like creating your beats or whatever it is that you're good at doing. You might even be good at doing artwork. So you can use that as another source of income, another way of making some, some extra money. I wouldn't say that you should be able to, to mix your own beats. There's nothing wrong in not being able to mix your own beats. But if you can get a little understanding of how to get a decent sound from the beats that you are uh, creating, then that would be a bonus. Just like understanding levels and understanding how certain sounds work together in the beat they're creating so it sounds nice so when you send it off to mix engineer half the battle's won and we, all we're gonna do is just make it sound more sonically pleasing to the ear so because what you've created already is gonna sound dope so all we're doing is just enhancing it with different eqs compression if it needs it put it out there send it to your artists and put it on your your beat store and sell some more beats the mix for that beat turned out pretty decent ready now to put it into a mastering session so i'm just going to add that finishing touches to it polish the sound a little bit boost the boost the volume a touch but i'm also going to send off the mix as well because he might not want it completely smashed to zero db so just giving him a few options when i send it off to him hopefully he'll be happy with it we can continue to work with each other hit me up on instagram if you've got any questions or you want to just connect on the instagram feel free don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time mm -hmm.